Many shoppers hit the stores this Black Friday with extra cash thanks to some secondhand selling. As News Channel 18's Aaron Leedy shows us, passing on those unwanted treasures is putting some wanted cash in people's hands in today's top story. Well, it looks like you have some, some silver dollars. They're 90% silver. Um, you also have a 1964 Kennedy, which is also 90%. Lafayette resident Teresa Hull recently cashed in her silver dollars for about a hundred dollars. I've had them for quite a while, tucked away at home, and what better time to get some extra cash for Christmas. The Ohio Valley Gold and Silver Refinery Show wrapped up this past week in Lafayette. Hundreds turned out to cash in their unwanted gold, jewelry, and collectibles. Show manager Jacob Weaver says the holidays were definitely a factor in the high turnout. Majority of it's for the holiday, you know, get a little extra money in their pockets, and, and we're able to do that for them. Flatware, coins, vintage toys, guitars, and jewelry were just some of the items collected. For Teresa, cashing in her unwanted coins was worth it. Got $100, so that, that's good. Makes me happy. Other people this holiday season are turning to the Internet to make some extra cash for shopping and are selling items on sites like Craigslist and eBay. My husband and I are selling some items on Craigslist. Uh, we also collected uh, some scrap metal and took that to the scrap yard and got some money that way also. A recent graduate of Manchester College, Robin Harmon, says with student loans coming due and the holidays approaching, selling her unwanted items will help out. We had been uh, doing some eBaying uh, just with college books and things, um, and we decided that it would be kind of helpful to do this, especially right at the holiday time. And Harmon isn't alone in her idea. While posting her unwanted cookbooks, she's noticed a trend on the Internet. I've noticed that a lot of people are suggesting items as great gift ideas for other people. Erin Leedy, News Channel 18.